Rani Ki Vav is an intricately constructed stupwell situated in the town of Patan in Gujarat, India. It was added to the list of UNESCO's World Heritage Sites on June 22, 2014. History, Rani Ki Vav, or Ran Ki Vav was constructed during the rule of the Solanki dynasty. It is generally assumed that it was built in the memory of Bhim Devi, the son of Mularaja, the founder of the Solanki dynasty of Anilwada Patan about 1050 AD by his widowed queen Adayamati and probably completed by Adayamati and Karandavai after his death. A reference to Adayamati building the monument is in Prabandar Chintamani, composed by the Jain monk Merunga Suri in 1304 AD. The Stpal was later flooded by the nearby Saraswati River and silted over until the late 1980s. When it was excavated by the Archaeological Survey of India, the carvings were found in pristine condition. Architecture This magnificent east facing steppe well measures approximately 64 meters long, 20 meters wide, and 27 m deep. A stepped corridor compartmented at regular intervals with pillared multi story pavilions is a unique feature. It was one of the largest and the most sumptuous structures of its type. It became silted up and much of it is not visible now, except for some rows of sculptured panels in the circular part of the well. Among its ruins one pillar still stands which is an excellent example of this period of design. A part only of the west well is extant from which it appears that the wall had been built of brick and faced with stone. From this wall project vertical brackets in pairs, which supported the different galleries of the well shaft proper. The bracketing is arranged in tiers and is richly carved. The minute and exquisite carving of this vav is one of the finest specimens of its kind. Befitting its name, the Rani Ki Vav is now considered to be the queen among step wells of India. There is also a small gate below the last step of the step well, with a 30 km tunnel, currently blocked by stones and mud, which leads to the town of Sidpa near Payton. It was used as an escape gateway for the king, who built the step well in the times of defeat. Ornate side walls. Most of the sculptures are in devotion to Vishnu, in the forms of Das avatars Kalki, Rama, Mraisa Sermadini, Narsin, Vaman, Varohi, and others representing their return to the world. Nagranaya, Yojni beautiful women, Asara showcasing 16 different styles of makeup to look more attractive called Solar Shringa. Around 50 Euro 60 years back there were Ayurvedic plants around this area, and the water accumulated in Rani Nivav was considered to be helpful for viral disease, fever etc. The waves of Gujarat are not merely sites for collecting water and socializing, but also hold great spiritual significance. Originally, the waves of Gujarat were constructed quite simply, but became more intricate over the years perhaps to make explicit the ancient concept of the sanctity of water with the addition of carved stone deities. Thus visitors enter Rani Ki Vav as if it is an inverted temple, where one steps down various levels to the water. The steps begin at ground level, leading you down through the cool air through several pillared pavilions to reach the deep well below. There are more than 800 elaborate sculptures among seven galleries. The central theme is the Dasavataras, or ten incarnations of Vishnu, including Buddha. The avatars are accompanied by Sajas, Brahmins, and Asaras, painting their lips and adorning themselves. At water level you come to a carving of Sheshashayani Vishnu, in which Vishnu reclines on the thousand-hooded serpent Shesha, where it is said he rests in the infinity between ages. Notes Rani Ki Bhavan UNESCO World Heritage List 2014 Demotiques Photojournalism, Center for Indian Diaspora and Cultural Studies, Rani Ki Bhav, Payton. Ticketed Monuments, Gujarat, Archaeological Survey of India, Kuma, Santosh. Wonder of the Indian Architecture Body, Arts and Education. Fall 1, No. 5 Online ISSN 2348-3520, Bibliography, Jata Jain Nibor, The Stpwells of Gujarat. An Art Historical Perspective. A Pine of Publications, 1981, ISBN 0-39102-284-9. Mourna Livingston, Marlow Beach, Steps to Water. The Ancient Stpwells of India. Princeton Architectural Press, 2002, 
ISBN 1 56898 324 7. External links Rani Kibaba Euro Photos and Information, Rani Kibaba Euro Detail, Stwells in Gujarat Euro Photos and Information.